back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just to save time, obviously, I opened this up already. And, uh, yeah, just got a couple of items today from Amazon that were delivered. But here's, before we get into all this, look at this. Some freak over at the post office decided to peek inside my box, man. It's just weird that they, that they do that. Every single time that my box arrives, man, it, there's always something wrong with it. So, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. I, th I thought that was just real weird, man. But anyway, all right. <clears throat> Doom. PlayStation uh, VR. And um, I've been waiting to play this for a long time. I, I wasn't going to pay 30 bucks for the game. I'm not going to lie about that. So I waited. It dropped down to 20 I was like, okay, cool. Let's do that. It was like 1970-something. And, uh, yeah, this is it. We'll be able to uh, knock that bad boy out, play it a little bit. And um, I still don't have this device. I need to try to find that. So hopefully I can do that. But, yeah. It's only 19 uh, gigabytes on there. And it's probably going to be a real slow game, a uh, small game, easy game to play. But yeah, I'll have some um, videos uploaded pretty soon um, about that. All right. So this is the most important item <coughs> that I had. It's my uh, my cooling pad. This is my second cooling pad that I purchased. Uh, I have a blue one, and I wanted to purchase this one because it's red. Um, and this one was really dirt, dirt cheap, man. It was uh, 15 bucks on Amazon, and you just can't beat that, man. So we'll do a quick unboxing for this one, and uh, that should be it. All right, so here we go, man. This is the uh, Have It cooling pad, and um, there's some information on that bad boy if you want to press pause and read that. And this is the model number uh, HVF2068. Has a little bit of damage right here, uh, probably from the warehouse or from the shipping, who knows. This is what it looks like when you have it set up. And uh, we'll show you that in a few seconds. It'll be uh, on that laptop, because I already have one for the other one. So that's that's the point and plan of that one. All right, so here's some more information, requirements, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, you can pause that, read that, all that good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and pull this. Pull this off if we can. If not, we're just gonna rip it and rip it to shreds. Let's see if I can do that. Real quick. All right, that didn't take too long. I'll edit that later. All right. All right. So this is their little logo. It looks like a little motto, I guess you can say. And, uh, oh yeah, look at that. It has a little thanks thing. Well, thank you. Thank you for choosing Habit, where all of your computing needs are met with the greatest joy. Packaging is really, really good. I like that. Um, not gonna lie, this, it, it seems like this one might be used. I won't even lie to you. It, it, it looks like this one's this one's used, man. Um, kind of disappointed. You know, look look at those scratch marks. This this might this might be a, a actual used fan. This is my first. I'm noticing a lot of just damage and, and stuff that shouldn't be there, especially those cuts right there. But anyway, this looks dope. I like it. I like the way that it um it looks, man. Especially those red fans. I can't wait to light this bad boy up. Looks like it's pretty easy to use. There's the instruction manual. I know you guys are thinking the same thing, like, dude, you just bought a, a used fan. That's why it was probably that cheap and on that lightning deal. Amazon, you know Amazon, man. They always get away with some some BS. So there's some instructions, all that good stuff. I like that. That's pretty dope. Then they have a little. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Look at that. 18 month warranty. Let's see back what's over here. Nice, man. So uh, right now, man, I'll have to give a thumbs down um, on this product because it's all scratched up and used. But I do like it. I do like it because of the color. So yeah, we'll put this on real quick and then uh, be the judge of it. All right, so this is the bottom of the actual fan. I gotta make sure this thing focuses, okay. Has um, little legs. You just pull them up. Some information right here as far as the product and all that stuff. The voltage is a five volt. So we're gonna put it down this way. Alright, so it's kind of it's sitting up to where it looks like that. Alright, so there's that. 
and then you can pull this up and that catches it now I like this and I'll show you in a second my other one but I like this little lip it just pulls straight up and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put this on there real quick let's see if I can do that to where you guys can see it all right I think that that's good I think you guys can see exactly what I'm doing here maybe Hold on, let me put it like that okay so I'm just gonna pull this up pull this forward and then as I'm pulling this forward out rotate those back there we go and it'll just sit on there just like that all right so that's pretty much what it looks like so what I'll do now I'll put in the USB I have it unwrapped put that USB in there right there okay so the USB is actually down so the face of the USB with the logo actually goes down instead of up Kind of backwards, a little ass backwards. That's okay. All right, let me show you guys that too. Let me scoot this over so you guys can see. There's the USB. There's the power button and everything, and it's all indicated on there too. Right. Now I've taken the uh, the light off. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I can plug this bad boy in for you guys. It's gonna have some difficulty probably trying to find me because it's so dark in here. I don't know if this is going to work. This is not going to work. All right, so I've turned the light off. I'm using my uh, USB hub to um, to plug it in. As you can see, I already have a blue one over here, and then there's a red one here, so it kind of shows you the different, uh, the different um, cooling fans that I have. I just got to make sure I plug that in. Hold on. All right, so that's plugged in. What we'll do now is, all right, so what we'll do now is we'll just turn it on just to give it a good test. And there it is. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's the loudest and all the way over, I guess you can say setting, the highest setting. So I'm going to kind of pull it back. So if you guys can hear that, that's what it sounds like when it's on and running and operating. Give me one second, I'm gonna readjust the fan itself. I'm just gonna pull it back and bring it forward. I'm pull it back again and bring it forward. Okay, so now it's on there the way that it's supposed to be and we're gonna do another sound test. Here we go, kind of sitting back. All right, and then that's it. You can feel the air, which is a lot different than the one I'm about to show you over here on my other computer. You really can't feel anything, um, and I leave that on all the time. This one I probably won't be leaving on all the time because it's so powerful. And we'll turn it down to its lowest setting, which is right there, which is barely on. And once again, that's the highest setting. Lowest setting. Highest setting and off. Turn it back on. There you go. So I, yeah, I just want to make sure this is cooled off, man, because I have a lot of problems with my uh, Lenovo. It's just it's it's just not doing good right now. Um, so I, in order for me to save the 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 actual machine rather than just throw it to the side like I have so many other PCs um, I'm gonna try to you know baby this thing and doctor it I, I don't do anything on this computer anymore the only thing that I have um, is like my uh, my word my PowerPoint my Excel I keep the, the desktop clean um, I, I usually I only pretty much run my eBay and um, some some of my edits on YouTube that's it but I I don't I don't uh, edit videos on this I don't edit movies pictures anything I just, you know, uh, watch some Netflix, uh, watch some Amazon Prime, which I'm watching right now. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's that's all I do for that one. Let me show you this other one. So I'm really not sure where the video is for this one, but this is the blue. It's the blue fan. You, you really can't hear anything. Uh, the, the big difference is, is that, number one, um, this laptop is, is, is so much bigger. You know what I'm saying? This is like, I think, a 23-inch laptop the other one is like a 13 or 14 inch maybe 15 but this is this is a pretty you know humongous laptop man um the biggest difference that you'll know is that the power button is actually here this one malfunctions like crazy um 
and that's just the way it is you know um, the biggest difference also is that each fan is operated with its own button you know what I'm saying so you have your you have your front you have your back you see what I'm saying and then it starts to malfunction though if you uh if you um put it like halfway so that's the only bad deal like right there see it's starting to mal it's malfunction right there so you have to kind of put it right before it going to high maximum power but that's the biggest the biggest difference man um you won't be able to see the fan itself um using this giant laptop it covers it completely see compared to this one this laptop is actually too small for the red one um but we're just going to use it here and keep it here for right now until I decide to change it over. And I probably will because it seems like the red one is more powerful. And I care about the other laptop more than I care about this one. Yeah, that's the setup. Um, you know, you have the blue one over here. I have the red one over here. And they both keep everything kind of cool and uh, calm for the computers and PCs, all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, Barry!